Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about how to generate equilateral triangle or we can say pattern shape equilateral triangle using C programming. So here you can see that output that this is what the output we are expecting. So here in as per the discussion in the last video what we need to do we need to convert the pattern into rows and columns. So for using those these rows and columns we can easily able to identify the logic or we can say we can easily able to map the relationship between rows and columns and based on that we can able to set uh, the loop conditions okay from where we need to start from where at what value we need to end and everything is based on that only so again I am converting this particular uh, pattern into rows and columns. So this is how I am dividing columns. Now rows. Okay. So now you can see the pattern is divided into row and column. So this is your row number one. This is row number two, row number three, row number four. This is column number one, column number two, column number three, column number four, column number five, column number six and column number seven. Now one logic we need to identify here that how many rows are to be printed. So it is very simple that row will be taken from user. So here we have taken four rows. Now the second thing is in each row how many columns are to be printed, how many columns. So you can see if it is the row number one, only one row, one column it is printed. In row number two, there are three columns to be printed. In row number three, there are five columns printed. In row number four, there are seven columns printed. So from this logic, we can able to map or we can able to find the relationship. Is there any relationship between row number and column? So yes. So here we can see that number of columns that equals to row number into 2 minus 1 and now we check out this if it is column number 2 sorry row number 2 so it is 2 into 2 minus 1 that gives you 3 so you can check out there are 3 columns within if it is row number 4 so 4 into 2 8 8 minus 1 is 7 so you can see there are 7 columns printed so here we got the logic or we uh, we have identified the relationship that number of columns to be printed that equals to row number into 2 minus 1. So this will be very useful to write the loop. Now one thing we have seen this triangle is little bit different than the triangle which we have seen in the previous video. So here what is the problem? So in the previous video everything is uh, to be printed from the left side but no this is not the case. here. There are some spaces we need to leave. There are some spaces which we need to leave. So here we can see this is also one sort of case. Okay, we can see this. So if it is row number one, we need to leave three spaces. If it is row number two, we need to leave two spaces. If it is row number three, we need to leave one space. And in row number four, we are not leaving any space. So here we need to identify the relationship of space also. Okay, how many spaces are to be left? So for that we need to identify the relationship of space in terms of row number and so. So here you can check out the relationship which, which we can get is space equals to row minus i. i means what? Row number. You just check out. So here in the first row, the row number is 1. How many rows are there? 4. So 4 minus 1 gives you 3. So you can check out there are 3 spaces we need to leave. For row number 2, so number of rows are 4 minus the row, current row number is 2. It means gives you 2. So 2 spaces we need to leave. For this particular case, row number is 4. So row is 4, row number is also 4. So you are not going to give or you are not going to leave any space in this particular case okay so ultimately we can say from this particular part that there should be relationship of space is also required so space the logic for space is what row minus row number 
and the relationship between column and row is column equals to number of rows into 2 so number of rows nahi row number into 2 minus 1 so this is how we got the relationship and now we convert this relationship into the program so very simple thing we just look at the program so if you look at the program we can see that we have taken row we have taken ij for loop and sp also for loop now we are taken row suppose i am taking row equals to 4 okay now i equals to 1 and we need to repeat the number of rows given like row equals to 4 so we will be printing four four rows now for each row what we are supposed to do suppose uh, our triangle is like this right our triangle is like this so in each particular row before printing star what we need to print we need to print space before printing star we need to print space so that's why for each row i have written first of all i have written the loop which prints space and then which print star okay so how many we have seen the we have already see uh, see seen the relation between space and the row so that was that space equals to total row minus row number okay so that's why sp equals to 1 that is space variable then sp should be less than or equals to row minus i row is what number of rows total number of rows minus i means current row number i always prints to the or referring referring to the current row number so row minus i okay and then what we are printing we are printing space so that's why we have not written anything we have just leave the space in between double quotation marks so it will print spaces correct and after the loop of space what we have done we have written the code for printing asterisk or we can say we can print the star now how many times so you can see if it is row number 1 only one if it is row number 2 there are then three columns row number 4 three then five columns the relationship with which we had or we have seen in the previous discussion just before few minutes is that is row number into 2 minus 1 it means if it is the row number 2 then 2 into 2 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so there are three asterisks will be printed on the screen so this two relationship the first one about the space and second one about the number of columns so in this particular uh, pattern printing business the important thing we should know is the relationship that how we can get the relationship and then that relationship will be presented in the form of condition okay so this will be uh, a sample code now we try to debug this code and we check out whether it will work or not so here row i is there j is there and sp that is for space so we have assume that row number is 4 row is 4 now i equals to 1 we move inside space equals to 1 space less than equals to row what is row row is 4 and what is the value of i i is 1 which gives you 3 okay which gives you 3 so 1 less than 3 condition less than equals to 3 condition true so suppose this is your screen where we are printing the output your cursor is here so now due to printing space your cursor moves little by one position now sp will be what sp will be 2 2 less than equals to 3 condition true so now again cursor will be moved now sp will be what sp will be 3 3 less than equals to 3 condition true cursor will be moved further now space will be 4 so 3 less than equals to 4 condition sorry 4 less than equals to 3 condition false so this loop will be terminated it will come over here now j equals to what j equals to 1 now i equals to 1 1 into 2 is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 so 1 less than equals to 1 condition true and it will print star so star will be printed over here you can see star is printed over here okay now j becomes what j becomes 2 now 2 less than equals to 1 this is 1 2 less than equals to 1 condition false 
so we'll be jumping out now it is what slash n so slash n your cursor will be moved to the next line again now i will be what i will be 2 now we are moving in sp equals to now the new value of sp is 1 now sp equals to what rho minus i rho is what 4 i is 2 so 4 minus 2 is 2 so sp 1 less than equals to 2 condition true so it will be moved next then sp will become what 2 2 less than equals to 2 condition true so it will moved now sp will become 3 3 less than equals to 2 condition false it will be moving next so it will coming to the next loop j equals to 1 now again j equals to 1 then this is i i is 2 2 into 2 minus 1 that is 3 4 minus 1 is 3 so it will print star three times so star will be printed then star will be printed then star will be printed then i becomes j becomes 4 and the condition becomes false so it will be coming to the next statement that is slash n so it will be moving to the next row and likewise all the values will be printed according to our requirement so in this pattern also we have seen the important thing is what we need to identify the relationship between the row number and the column and here one extra thing that is this space the business of space because all the values are not starting from the left side okay it is starting from the center of the uh, center of the number of values to be printed so that we need to leave some space first so for uh, in each row we need to we will be leaving space and then we will be printing the actual content so you need to identify the logic between the row number and the space and we need to identify the logic between row number and the column so i hope you understood the case thank you for watching the video